I also. <laughs> All right. All right. I think I should talk about being gay. Should I? Or like, I'm not gay anymore, first of all. I'm just a homosexual because um, I was listening to, this was years ago, and um, um, I was listening to some gay guys talking on the radio, and they were concerned about the, the AIDS spreading and stuff, and they used the word intimacy at least twice, maybe three times in a, in a like 45-minute discussion. Intimacy. And the term was always in... in um, in reference to sex without a condom. And I thought to myself, I am no longer gay. That's it. I'm done. I am done. And I was working my way up to that anyway. I really, you know, hadn't been gay. I mean, there's a lot of work to being gay. There are all these meetings you have to go to when you're gay. There's all this furniture you have to buy. And apparently there are the designer clothes I have to keep up with. And it's, it's too much. It's too much. I can't deal with it, you know. So... I am no longer gay, but um, I'm just homosexual. I still have sex with guys, but uh, I'm, no longer, I'm no longer gay. But once in a while, I become gay for a little while. And, uh, and the, thing about, the thing about AIDS kind of uh, bro- came up bec- uh, because there was this compilation called Down for the Swerve, Gay Hip Hop. Fantastic. And um, the last track is a song called Take Care of You, which is incredible. Great dance tune. And for a while, I thought my CD player was skipping because, you know, and then I found out, no, it's not skipping. The guy who produced it cut out one line in the song because somebody didn't like it. The guy had HIV, and he didn't like it. And the line was, there's nothing sexy about AIDS. And the guy felt with that, you know, well, because I have AIDS, that, that's saying that I'm not sexy. And I was really surprised by that because I have HIV, too. And I'd been listening. I thought it was one of my, my, one of my favorite songs. And so what bothered me was that he was the disease. That's the way he saw himself. And that kind of bothered me. So I don't play that version. I play the unedited version on my radio show. And so, for anybody who might be listening to this, because I'm recording this, is um, what my definition of sexy, okay? There's a man in this room who inspired this definition. So, uh, if you are a gay man and you've just had sex with another man, right? I'm talking about, you know, know, fantastic, hanging off the ceiling, you know, know, handstand kind of sex, right? And you're cuddling in the afterglow. You are with a sexy man if you are not thinking, when is he going to leave? That, that is a sexy man, because the sex is done with. You know, the passion doesn't last. It rises and falls. It comes and goes, if you know what I'm saying. But if the person is still interesting after that, then, you know, you can get the process of intimacy. That's the thing. Nobody explained that to me when I was a kid, you know, where, you know, you think that love is that sexual urge. But it doesn't last. It, you know, intimacy uh, is the thing. This process where you're getting to learn some, find out about a person. And then you have commitment. That's another kind of love. It's a many splendored thing, I hear. And uh, you, can have any combina- you can have any combination of the three. You can have intimacy and commitment, which doesn't, you know, uh, involve sex. You can have, like, uh, you know, passion and intimacy. You know, any combination of the three. Or you can have all three, and it's that sickening, you need an insulin injection after you've been with them kind of love, where, you know, the death to us part thing. It's like that, you know, that kind of combination. Oh, and as far as uh, one example of that, I think uh, last year, uh, the death of Johnny Cash uh, really moved me. Actually, when his wife, June Carter Cash, died, I actually started writing out like his a little like obituary type thing for my website because they just had that kind of relationship, you know. He was just going to, I said, he's going to be gone in three months. He's going to start packing, you know, get things done and be gone. And sure, sure enough, that, that was right. And um, the, thing about, uh, the thing about him was, was that he was the only person that I used the term um, – living legend, because if we didn't have any recording technology, that all we had were stories and, like, the songs he wrote about his, and things about his performances, then he would have taken on some kind of, like, mythic quality, like Hercules. Hercules was a real person. We don't know what his real name is, but he went to the Oracle of Delphi, which is the kind of thing that you do. Instead of calling up the 1-800 horoscope line, they went to the Oracle of Delphi. Ordinarily, I think they had a better system. But... <laughs> She said that he had to change, among other things, he had to change his name to Heracles, which means glory of Hera. So, uh, and he was a real person. And, uh, but, and so when he died, the myth-making happened, and he became this semi-divine being. That's who Johnny Cash was like. And <clears throat> you'd, hear a song, you'd hear a song that he'd cover. You'd heard it a hundred times before, but when he sang it, it was like you heard it for the first time. He, like, drove past a mountain, and the mountain caught fire, and he burned it down. He went into a cave. Oh, and met Jesus. And that's a real story that he told. And, um, and he would have had that mythic quality. 
And so um, as far as like being a human being, <laughs> that's something that, you know, we have facts about a person's life and, we, and there is the myth. And it's really a difficult time when we want to have a myth, that, whereas, you know, we have like a real flawed person. Ew, why would we want to do that? And so I think it's always best to, <clears throat> like I say with uh, the ancient Greek, you know, plays, they would wait until somebody dies and then you have fun with their lives and you make a decision as to, you know, because nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect.